So here we have my 2008, no, 2007 iMac. Uh, typical white iMac, 2.33 uh, gigahertz, uh, 320 gig hard drive, and it has OS X Lion on it. Um, as we saw in the past, mainly past few videos, Mac Pro upgrades setup, um, my new setup plans. Um, this iMac is going to be coming off my setup for a while, and um, I want to install OS X Snow Leopard on it, so I will be downgrading it, and I'm just going to be doing that in this video. So uh, there we have my power book, um, that's going to play a big part, and then we have my Mac Pro sitting down there. Uh, you can see I've taken it, taken the cover off. It seems I have forgotten to remove, oh, need those, um, yeah, but, um, in that bay, I have a 2 terabyte archive drive, that's a 2 terabyte green, um, so we're gonna be cloning a Snow Leopard installation from there, through the PowerBook onto the iMac, and then from there, we will be going into single user mode and deleting the existing account. And then after that, we will go into uh, the system preference, or we, it'll just give us a new kind of startup. So like start it up, or it'll start it up into like kind of a fresh install kind of thing. And that will be it. And it will run 10, 6, Snow Leopard. So, uh, sorry about the dodginess and slowness of my speaking. I am kind of tired. I just woke up, still waking up. So I'm going to move the tripod over a bit. You can see outside, beautiful view from my bedroom. Um, yeah. So I guess the first thing we'll want to do is fire up the iMac. Is everything turned on? Yes, I'm going to have again, like some other videos, but um, going to go around and hit the power button and start mashing the T. And it's hard to sit down in my chair without looking. So you can see we have the FireWire Target Disk Mode logo. Um, forgot a few things. So we'll go back around to the tripod. Yes, my room is a mess. Still working on some cable management and stuff. Tying up some cables. Something I hate about the iPhone camera application on the phone is when I tap the screen, you can see the light changes, but it's not tapped to focus. And that really is sometimes the bane of my existence when filming, because I have to use my iPhone and a custom mount that I made. And it really does get kind of annoying. So I'm going to take my three foot long FireWire 400, 400 cable and just plug that in. And you guys probably can't see what I'm doing, but I'll show, I'll show that. And uh, 800 goes to the Mac Pro and then 400 goes to the back of the iMac. So let's see, that's, I'm not going to embarrass myself on camera. So I'll just plug it in on the back. So there we have that. And that FireWire cable goes to the uh, power book. You can see there, lighting change. And then from there, that will go to the Mac Pro. And just iPhone shifted, because I'm using a tripod mount that I made. So let me open up the power book as well. And I should plug that in because it's on rather low battery.
and I'll push the off the tripod. I have to push the camera out through the hole for the thing. This is what I'm using. I have to push the finger or the um camera iPhone out through there. But you can see it's not really held in except by these cable ties. So um Yes, it is starting. And I lost a disc to the optical drive. And uh, 775 gaming board coming up. And I'm going to step away from the window because the neighbors might think I'm calling them. Didn't want that to happen because I'd get in trouble for stuff like that. Which, of course, I'm not filming them, but they might think I am. So, um, let me adjust where my tripod is once again, and uh, you can see my messy room, and I'm going to go right there, and unplug the keyboard from the iMac, and unplug the mouse as well and plug the keyboard into the front of the Mac. And, um, yeah, this isn't going well. So if we start the Mac Pro, and turn on the monitor, So uh, this is what I've been using the Mac Pro for before I uh, started using it as my main system. Or, yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. Before we upgraded it and everything, I've just been like using it to clone stuff. But, um, yeah, OS X El Capitan, pretty cool. And my power book can get annoying. And I love how I say that. And the optical drive shuts off, or it gives up at least. And it does take a while to start. Yeah, I think I might do a fresh install because this one is a bit shoddy. It does weird things. Don't have the startup sound. Don't have um yep, fresh install. No video on that, sorry. There's nothing wrong with the Mac Pro, but yeah, I, I, it's not Mountain Lion. Why is it doing that? The joys of having archives of old things on your Mac, you know, the art, and the joys of having really bad tracking surfaces. So. Of course, hmm. Sounds like a mouse. That's not, I'm an idiot. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, any time now something will go right. And this isn't one of them. 
I cannot even see the screen. And yes, it is the trial version, I am aware of that. Please stop hounding me with that, because every time I turn on the application, that happens. And my tracking surface on my desk is terrible. And GAD stands for Green Archive Disk, by the way, in case you're wondering. Oh, is that? Where is it? I cannot see what I'm doing here. Snow Leopard Installer, there we go. So we're gonna clone Snow Leopard Installer to iMac HD. And we're gonna hit clone. So now we're gonna wait. And no doubt, tons of stuff's gonna go wrong. So I will continue the video once it's all over onto that partition, or on that drive. So it finished cloning. Um, little mistake I made, I was typing in the wrong commands and stuff. So uh, unfortunately I have to delete the footage, or not use the footage of it finishing cloning. It, it said some weird things, it said like null or something, N-U-L-L. And there was like X's and death and all over the um, co carbon copy cloner window. So hopefully nothing terrible happened. So let's fire up the iMac again. And hold down Command S to boot into single user mode. And I have a, uh, a website up on my MacBook and it is just showing um, the command or the commands that I would type in. Actually no, I don't want to go into single user mode just yet so hopefully that doesn't happen. I think it will. No, it's not. Interesting. Oh, I remember, um, I remember we, um, when I was, uh, cloning this, I, uh, fixed everything on my Mac Pro where I deleted the, uh, the, um, uh, what's it called? Um, accounts and everything. So that's pretty cool. Um, don't have to do that. Um, yeah. So you know what? I'm too lazy to turn off the camera and because it shows my address and everything I'm gonna pan up quickly just so I can type in my information.
All right, that's finished. So where do I want to use this computer? I want to use this at home. You know what describes me best? MIS slash IT. Um, so. Only a few select people will get that hint. Yeah, password don't match. Um, and then, of course, the one time my mouse decides to stop working. Because the tracking surface on my desk really isn't the best. I use a mouse pad. Connecting to Apple, talking with Apple, connecting to Apple again. Actually, no one will get the password hints because nobody does a bash like I do. Um, that's actually one of my friends. Shout out to Alex. Um, he'll understand uh, vaguely what that um, extent is of the uh, my pa what my password is. Um, because we did a bit of bash work back at my old school. I was more into the exploring, he was in the hacking, but... Um, it was all like... Anyway, I'm not gonna go into that. But um, if we go into, we don't need terminal. I don't know why I looked for terminal, maybe because I was talking about terminal. But if we open that, if we unlock the preferences plane, we can take this and get rid of that old account. And um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'll put the commands in the, in the description, by the way, because I was going to go over those, but I didn't. I guess I wasn't. I ended up not having to. But I'm going to put the commands in the description, the terminal commands to like undo an account. So, um, and I'll put a link to uh, where I found them as well. So, yeah, anyway, um, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, 10, 10 6 is installed on the iMac, so uh, we're going to be putting this away for a while. Um, shout out to this machine, it's been a great thing to use. Setup's going to be down for a couple weeks. But that's fine because I haven't used it in a couple months. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, look forward to the next video, which is going to be what the. Um, we're going to be taking a look at a Dell Optiplex machine. And uh, that machine was given to me for parts. And um, I'm going to be getting some cool stuff out of it for a. Uh, a kind of um, Inspiron 530 rebuild video uh, because I, as I've said in a few other videos the Inspiron 530 is uh, sitting um, next to me taken apart completely a uh, great little machine all that thing so yeah um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in that video uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting hopefully so let's go ahead and shut this down because we don't need her shut down <laughs> Gotta love these iMacs though. I filmed an unboxing, but that kind of just was really bad. And it was many months ago. So, um, if you want to see that, tell me. But, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.